grab. We put a sting in him. Without his will, he might do danger. We have them therefore think of him as the serpent's egg, which hatched, would as his kind grow mischievous and kill him in the shell. I found this paper thus sealed up. It's not tomorrow, boy. The idea is March. Sir, March is wasted 15 days. Tis good. Go to the gate. Somebody knocks. Rudest thou, slaves, away! Shall Rome stand under one man's hall? If the rejects will follow, thou receivest thy full petition at the hand of Brutus. Sir, tis your brother Cassius at the door. Is he alone? No, sir, there are more, more with him. Their hats are plucked about their ears, and half of their faces buried in the clothes. Let him enter! The earth of faction, or conspiracy. No, are these men that come along with you? Yes, every man of them, and no man here but the honors and everyone that was had that king of the song, which every noble Roman bears over you. You are welcome. Shall I entreat the word? As the east doth not the day break here. No. Oh, pardon, sir, it doth, and yon gray lines that fret the clouds are messengers of day. You shall confess that you are deceived. Here, as I point my sword, the sun arises, which is a great way going on the south, weighing the youthful season of the year. Give me your hands, all over, one by one. And let us swear a resolution. No, not a no. For every Roman bears, a noble bears is guilty to serve a bastard. If he do break the smallest particle of and promise, that bath pass from him. Shall no man else be touched but only Caesar? Theseus, well urged, I think it is not meet Mark Anthony, so well beloved of Caesar, should outlive Caesar, which to prevent the Anthony and Caesar fall together. A curse will seem too bloody. Cassius, Cassius, let's carve him as a district for the gods. Now hew him as a carcass fit for hounds. We shall be called perjurers, not murderers. And for back Antony, think dead of him, for he can do more than seize his arm when his head is cut off. Yet I fear him, for in the grafty love he bears to Caesar. Alas, to Cassius, do not think of him, for if he loves Caesar, all that he can do is to himself. Take thought and die for Caesar. And that were much he should, for he is given the sport. To wilderness and much more. There is no fear in him. Let him not die, and he will live and laugh at this hereafter. Peace, stop the clock. The clock has struck his dream. It is time to part. But it is doubtful yet whether Caesar will come. Works today or no. And the persuasion of his authors may hold him from the capital today. Never fear that if he be so resolved, I can owe earth's way him. Let me work, for I can give his humor the true bent, and I will bring him to the capital. <laughs>